nearly had me. No, no, no. Kill her! No! You had your chance. Here! 
you came for me. I'm ready. Hear me out! Hear me out! You came for me. I'm ready. I promise. I'll tell you everything. I know you will. The killers who came for me at the Proving, who are they? The Eclipse. Some kind of holy warriors. A cult of the Shadow Karja. Shadow Karja? Except they're not like any Karja I've known. They don't pray to the sun. They worship some kind of devil. I'm not interested in their superstitions. Oh, it's not a superstition. Their devil is real. It has a name, a voice, the most terrible voice, and they do its bidding. What are these Eclipse cultists after, besides me? They never said. But given the Karja civil war, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Odd and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. He is. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Asuram called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. If only he died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. How did the Eclipse recruit you? I know they took your family hostage, but why you? I was a scrounger, a rummager in dark places, good at what I do. I suppose they knew I would serve them well as a scout. I had taken a delve near Maker's End. When I surfaced, they were waiting. I laughed when I saw the priest, but then he showed me Helis' encouragement. I didn't laugh after that. They gave me a focus to watch my every move. I followed orders. You had access to Meridian. Why didn't they get to Avad through you? Too much dirt under my nails for an audience with the one true Sun King. But whatever Ursa or Aaron told me, the Eclipse heard every word through my focus. That's why I couldn't warn you. If I tried, they would have killed my family. You say this devil the Eclipse worship has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. Hades. And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard. Just once, when it saw you. Such a voice. A cold, awful jangle. It scrapes your bones. It hollows your guts. A metal sound. But like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge. And what did it say? System threat detected. Just three words. But in the voice of a devil. Why are the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. I've fought that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today they call Corruptors, but there are others. Much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them buried in the ground, but after today, anything is possible. Sounds to me like they're raising an army. If so, the world will fall. And I helped dig the pit. The Eclipse were sent to kill me because I look like another woman. Older, maybe twice my age, short hair. Who is she? I don't know. My focus found her image once, in the ruins at Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door beside it, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. I won't beg for my life. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. 
There are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself. All this time I tracked you down. I thought this decision would be simple. It's not. Your... Your role in events was coerced. Perhaps you're not an evil man. Just a weak one. I am. The only strength I ever found in this life was my family. Death is what you've earned. And yet... I know what I deserve, Aloy. You shouldn't hesitate. It will take many good deeds to make up for the crimes you've committed. You're sparing me? After all I've done? Yes. Forge a new life, Olin. One of better make. Then the rest of my life will be lived in your debt. Go to the place where your family is being held and wait for me. We'll make their lives the first ones you save. I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. Useful. Being able to override you would help. Now where would I learn that? like a spider and carries a container on its back. I wonder what's inside.
it's Aaron. Then he's in trouble. That's over with. Thanks for the help. Come on over here and have a word. Hey, come on, what are you waiting for? What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. Or maybe she thought... Ah, oh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The Shadow Carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Erd. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so no. Well, I'm glad you're thinking straight, at least. Don't get used to it. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No. But it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us. And Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They've been licking their wounds for two years, but they finally found a way to get back at her. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Here. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cleft. This is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. Those bloodstains are not the kind that would pull around a corpse. Arrows scattered there. These look like drag marks. Must 
be Shadow Karja armor. A Shadow Karja spear. It's perfectly sharp. Never seen action. They look like spears. They look good as new. Never fired. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something, like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. I get why they wanted Ursa dead. But why fake an ambush? There's more to this. And we're gonna figure it out. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? Calling in machines. Get ready. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it.
What are those leather straps? Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. Those rocks. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. These look like vanguard weapons. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. So much blood. A lot of people died here. A massacre. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. This is Ursus' helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torture me. I have a theory, but it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Saving these for the trail. 